Tracking the sales KPI that your team and decision makers need to stay on top of shouldn't be difficult, but many CRMs make it that way. Intuitive, easy to build dashboards with powerful visualizations for measuring real-time data and sales KPIs is one of the ways that Microsoft Dynamics 365 Sales truly is in a different class of CRM solutions. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how easy it is to set up dashboards in Dynamics 365 Sales. If you are considering a new CRM solution, watch the walkthrough here and then schedule a product showcase with my team at Cobalt. We'll help you see how to identify and track sales KPIs you really need and how to get a lot more from your CRM investments. Let's say you manage a sales team with business representatives and account executives. The right sales KPI dashboard will let you and each of your employee to quickly view your current sales performance, easily review daily and weekly goals to refine everyone's daily focus, and create a massive efficiency boost in your business operations. Let's take a look at the data available in Dynamics 365 Sales and how to build an outstanding sales KPI dashboard. As we get started, let me show you the Sales Hub application of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Sales. On the left side of the screen, we can see all the different entities that Dynamics has out of the box. For this walkthrough, let's use the goal entity where we can configure and define goals based on sales revenue, number of units sold or leads created, and much more. Setting up these goals will allow us to measure the performance of our sales team. Here's a view of all goals where I have some example data to show you. Some of the key columns we can see directly from this view are the name of goals, who owns the goals, what the target is set to, what percentage of the goal has been achieved so far, and goal metrics. If you want, views can be customized to filter through the data. For example, separate views for your business reps versus account executives can easily be configured. Let's click into a specific goal record to break down some of the fields that are included. On the General tab, we can see the main fields, including the name of the goal, goal owner, the metric the goal is measured by, and the related manager for the goal. If the goal is a part of a larger parent goal, you can fill out the parent goal field, which will connect the records. A perfect use case for that will be having the sales department target revenue for the year as a parent goal and individual target revenues for the sales team members as the child goals. The connected goal records will work synchronously to keep track of the target progression. I wanna take a quick look at the goal metric field. There are two types of metrics to choose from, count and amount. Count is for the quantitative amount of activities, such as how many sales calls or number of showcases booked. Amount is more versatile it allows us to specify a monetary amount or certain number of units sold of a product or even pounds of product sold in decimals. Defining the goal metric will be a critical part of setting up goals and ensuring that the progression is being tracked accurately. The time period tab is also really helpful. That is where you can add details about when the goal is being measured. In this example, we can see the type is fiscal period and since we are in October, the fiscal period is on quarter four. Custom periods are available as well if you don't want to use fiscal years and have a specific timeline of a sales campaign or event. That covers the essential portions of the goal entity. There are other fields that give us even more customization details for the configuration, but I want to pivot into creating sales KPI dashboards from our goals. If we return to the sitemap on the left-hand side, Notice here where it says dashboards under my work. From here, we can go ahead and click new to create a new sales KPI dashboard or click on the drop down to select an existing dashboard. I already went ahead and created this sales KPI goals dashboard for us to view. Here, you can view the different tiles of the dashboard regarding visuals of the opportunities in play, bar charts of the goal records that we went over, and a nicely detailed list of goals on the bottom. You've probably seen the same thing our sales team at Cobalt has. One of the biggest keys to an effective sales KPI dashboard is to balance keeping it simple while highlighting 
the main points of the team's sales progress. Dynamics 365 makes it easy to create a dashboard that is useful at a glance and gives you meaningful insight into your department's progress and performance. I recommend taking the less is more approach to sales KPI dashboards. Too many visuals or lists actually make the dashboard a less effective tool because it feels cluttered and invites distraction. The first visual in my example is a representation of the open opportunities in our sales pipeline. Dynamics 365 can take all of the existing opportunity records in the system and create a beautiful pipeline funnel chart that is divided by the different stages of the business process flow, including opportunities that are considering, evaluating, and selecting. The pipeline funnel chart highlights the progression of the different stages. This empowers sales managers and employees to evaluate which stages are performing highly, any stages that have potential issues, and where to invest additional research, resources, or resolutions. This visual is a fantastic core addition to the Sales KPI dashboard. The next two visuals are bar charts of the goal records. I went ahead and divided the bar charts based on the different goal metrics. On the left, we have the revenue goals led by our account executives with stacked bars showing the actual revenue versus the money in progress and two points showing today's target versus the total target. The revenue chart shows not only the three child goals of each individual employee, but also the parent goal of the total sales department revenue goal as well. Showing all of these data at a glance helps the entire team. The business reps goals bar chart on the right side is essentially the same as the account executive goals visual, but we'll be measuring the progress of the number of sales calls made by the business reps. And lastly, in this example, we have a simple grid on the bottom that displays all goals so that managers and employees can see their goals and their teammates' goals at a glance, while also being able to click directly into the specific goal record to see more details. This subgrid allows managers to quickly create new goals, delete existing goals, refresh the metrics data, and make many other adjustments with ease. It's also worth pointing out that the subgrid allows users to switch between the different views so that they are not limited to the all goals view. Everyone can filter and narrow down the specific goal records that they care about most. To do that, simply select the dropdown next to the all goals title on the top of the subgrid. Creating a simple, beautiful, and useful sales KPIs dashboard for your sales department is that easy with Dynamics 365 Sales. If your CRM isn't making your sales progress crystal clear and offering a daily prioritization for your business representatives and account executives, consider a switch to Dynamics 365 Sales. These sales KPIs dashboards are just a fraction of the power and possibilities with D365 Sales. Click the link in the description below to register for a personalized demo today. We want to show you a CRM your sales team will actually want to use because it actually helps day-to-day -day operations. Thank you for watching and subscribe to Cobalt's channel. See you next time.